Hey, what is up, YouTubers? It's Cody Carpenter here from the YouTube channel Cody Knows, and in this video, I'm going to be doing another Facebook advertising tutorial, and this one's going to be on how to use the Facebook ads dynamic creatives. So, first off, what is the dynamic creative? Well, this creative lets advertisers automatically deliver high performing combinations of their creative assets to their audiences. Dynamic Creative accepts the basic components of a Facebook ad. This is your image, your video, your title, description, your call to action buttons, etc. and automatically generates optimized ad combinations based on these components. So then these ads are served across the placements you choose to explore the performance of each creative element which in, within the given audience. So where can you apply this Dynamic Creative? Well, you can use the dynamic creative for the following campaign objectives for conversions, traffic, video views, reach, brand awareness, and app installs. So how many assets can you test? Dynamic creative accepts up to 10 images or videos, which is awesome. And five of the following text assets. So primary text, title, and description. And then you can also have up to five call to action buttons as well. So this, this dynamic creative lets you test like hundreds of different variations of your ad, which is just huge. And then Facebook's so smart, they'll find the winning aspects and focus the majority of your budget on the winners. So now I'll dive into a full A to Z tutorial on how to set up dynamic creatives with Facebook ads. I'm going to dive into that right now. All right. So here I am inside of an uh, example campaign. I just got done recording the lifetime budget or how to schedule your ads to show within certain, uh, certain time frames using Facebook ads lifetime budget. If you want to watch that video, you can click that button up there to watch it. So anyways, I'm going to kind of continue off of this because I have the lifetime budget set up and I'm showing ads from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, Monday through Friday. I got a $4,500 budget for two months, which is like $75 a day. So this is just an example. Let's continue on to the ad level. All right, so for ad name, I do something like dynamic, dynamic creative, 10 images, because I plan to upload 10 images into this uh, example campaign. So then choose your Facebook page. Um, for the Instagram account, I just, uh, I just use my selected page to represent me on Instagram. Oh crap, one more thing that I wanted to point out. So when you're using dynamic creative, it makes sense also to use automatic placements because then Facebook will not only test all your images, videos, call to actions, um, descriptions, ad text, etc. They will also split test all that with the placements. So Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, etc. So I like to have that. You don't have to, you could just do Facebook if you wanted to, but I like to leave it on automatic placements and just let Facebook go out and find the lowest cost results for my campaign. So I just want to throw that out there before I get too deep into this uh, tutorial. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so just come down to add creative and I'm gonna upload 10 images real quick. Okay, so I uploaded 10 uh, auto pictures because I'm just going off the example from my auto loan landing page. I'm just pretending that we're going on an auto loan offer. So this is how I would do it. I'd upload up to 10 images. I usually only do like five or so when I'm starting out, but you can do the full 10 if you want. So those are the 10. And then you'll see this right here. You can optionally optimize creative for each person. And what this does, Facebook will vary your ad creative based on each person's likelihood to respond to that certain ad. So I like to leave that on. It's like, why not? You know, it could only help. And then if you recall, we added up, we added in 10 images. Now we can add up to five different primary texts, five different headlines, five descriptions, and this is optional. And then lastly, five call to action buttons. When I'm creating my ads, I like to go on AdSpy. This is my preferred uh, spy tool for Facebook ads, especially for affiliate marketing campaigns. AdSpy makes it really easy to find affiliate ads. So this is my go-to tool and I would just go in and I would type in auto loan for the text. I just typed that in right there and I added it to the filters. And then I did total likes. Let's just do from 300 to 100,000 plus. And then for the country, I did US and this is what uh, AdSpy came up with. So I would just go through and get ideas. I wouldn't swipe because that's kind of unethical if you just take someone's whole campaign or their whole ad text. No, you can copy you can copy and paste it into your ads manager, but just uh, change it up a little bit. So I would just go through and uh, find some good examples. So this is a decent uh, ad uh, text from carsdirect.com. So I would just come over here and in the primary text, I just paste it in, but I would uh, make edits to it. 
So act fast, I'd probably take that out. That's kind of pushy. Enjoy flexible auto loan options with, mm. okay, so you see how I just took this right here and I just pasted it in and then I just changed it up a lot. So enjoy flexible auto loan options with Simple Auto USA. And here's a little side note, I have my Facebook page, Best Products 101, but my example landing page is simpleautousa.com. So if I were doing a real campaign, I would have the Facebook page match the landing page. So I would have a Facebook page called Simple Auto 101 or uh, Simple Auto USA, I mean. So I would have that and then it'd make a lot more sense. So then I would copy this, add another option, I'd paste it in. And then I could try like a shorter version so I could take out that whole first one. It's never been easier to, easier for people to get the car they need regardless of credit level. Then you can just come back to AdSpy and get ideas from other ones. Um, could try something like this. So it's never been easier for people to get the car they need and a more affordable rate. Uh, I, then I could just do like looking for a new vehicle. We can help you get approved for an auto loan regardless of current credit click below to apply now and then I come in here and grab that okay so this is one that I just came up with so it's nice to test out variations of what other people are doing that are getting engagement and are running for a long time like over 300 likes that's good so we got those in and then you can just come up with your own stuff so another thing that i do is just like take this one that i just made and then i could try without having the landing page link in there and then i could just point down to the image and then have them go to the call to action below the image so that'd be another uh, thing. So that's how easy it is to split test five primary text. And I'd have to say the most important things to split test are the images, number one, or videos, depending on what you're doing. And then next would be the primary text. So then headlines get approved today. Could do another one like apply now. It takes three minutes. Then I could like point. And then I could do the same thing without the emoji, see if that would uh, work better. So that's uh, the headlines for descriptions. I don't normally use uh, descriptions, but you could if you want. Then I have the website URL in there. The call to action, so it's uh, learn more is right there. So then we could come and try apply now. And for auto loans, apply now works better if you are running an auto loans affiliate campaign. That's what I found anyways throughout my testing. I've been spending a lot on auto loan campaigns. But anyways, that's how easy it is to set up dynamic creatives. And one more thing you can do, so the preview is turned on, you can come over to view more variations. Then you can see like how all the images are looking with like in all the different placements. So this is uh, the story ad right there, Instagram, everything looks pretty good. So obviously the Facebook video feeds, we won't have that on because we're using images. We have 10 images. So you can just get a good idea of what it looks like in the uh, the preview. And then you can even come over here. Oh, it says I got duplicate text somewhere. So this is how it would look on mobile news feed. Then you can come to desktop, see how it would look on someone's laptop or their computer. So everything looks good. Um, I don't know why it's giving me that error message. I'm sure once I would hit publish, it'd go away because I don't see any duplicates in here. Um, maybe it's that. Okay, that's weird. And I just want to point out one more time that I always leave this on optimized creative for each person because Facebook's so smart, they'll know that if a certain, they'll know that certain people will be more likely to react to certain images or certain uh, primary texts, etc. So I like to leave that on. You don't have to. That's just my preference. So anyways, yeah, so once you get all of your stuff set up, Facebook will split test all the different images. So I have 10 in here. They will test each one of those images with each one of the primary texts, with each one of the call to actions, and then they'll start to see, oh yeah, this image with this primary text and this call to action is working the best. Let's allocate the majority of the budget to this specific ad layout. So yeah, that's how easy it is to set up dynamic creatives with Facebook ads. 
So thank you for watching this video. I hope you got a lot of value. Um, if you did, make sure to like this video, comment if you have any questions or concerns. And lastly, if you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, smack that subscribe button and that notification bell to stay up to date with all my future videos. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.